Mona. So I'm actually surprised that he's going Zelda because he does not like this matchup. This matchup is very, very just bad. Telling me that bad you, for Zelda. You were bringing a frog home every now and then and driving him nuts. But that would mean that he has some matchup experience, some real matchup experience. Well, like, this is one of those matchups that I feel like experience only takes you so far because it is very, very difficult for Zelda to get in. Granted, I agree. he's gotten, I'm pretty sure, a win on Ice Knight. But even so, with how many times they fought, it's um heavily skewed one direction. Well, and Greninja's definitely one of those characters where player expression really uh, can be seen and felt. Like, no two Greninjas really do the exact same gameplay right. every time, and that's partially because of his unique, like, movement. He right. jumps high, he, uh, he doesn't move like any other character, so you're able to do a yeah. lot more with him. Yeah, the frog is bouncy. Who would have thunk, right? Right. <laughs> So that's a lot of the frustration, especially for Chicago as well. I'm sure most of the top level of Chicago knows it because we have so many Greninjas and they don't play like one another. Correct. Not only do you have to know the matchup. Ooh, that was actually a good catch with the two frame. So that's kind of like where we're at with this. That kind of like probably explains it, right? But Zelda can hit her stuff. It's nice. That said, even though each Greninja plays differently, there are global properties that you can explode. Exploit. Right. He's taller. You know, uh, that moment where he poked up a little bit of, of ledge, you can yeah. get that set up. That's not going to be on every character, but if it's something that you can do on Greninja, right. it's huge. Greninja has like this really weird property of if he's on the ground, he's tiny. He's short. The second he's in the air, he's tall. Uh, isn't that a Sheik problem, too? It's it's the Marsoritis. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of these upbeats are actually hitting. I'm surprised by that. I'm right. wondering if Mono's going to adapt to that. Uh, right now, though, Yashil really has some control going on here. It's really just amazingly planting uh, center stage and not letting uh, Mona really right. get any ground until I say that. Even there, though, I feel like that was just like a free kill they just took a grab for instead. Yashil's going to take a grab and get the kill, though. Right. and. I don't believe Greninja grabs are ex extremely threatening. No. But Zelda, on the other hand, has a pretty threatening grab. Everything that she does is actually pretty threatening. Oh, it's yeah. just that it's committal. <laughs> it's very, like, like that death right. trap right there. All right. I want to get the first stock. First 6% of the last stock, though. This is not exactly an ideal situation. No. It's doable. It's Smash Ultimate. It's always doable. <laughs> But I would be sweating a little bit right now if I were Mono. Yeah, I'm playing the counter pick at this point. Are you? No, I'm not. I'm going back to PS2. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's a good counter. Yeah. Mono's been going for a lot of the counter there. Oh, okay, oh, cancel. Beautiful. beautiful lightning kick. Yeah, I love to see that. That's a, It's funny, right? Because I will see that console just playing against Yashul all the time at home. I am very familiar with the cancels that he goes for, and I know exactly what to look for for the setups. It's funny to watch people that are not familiar with the setups, <laughs> because I'll, I'll see it coming a mile away, right? And then I'm like, oh, no, no, Oh, my no. gosh, he fell for it. <laughs> don't you just play with this person constantly all the time in your living room? No, Don't no. you just have that experience? Why don't you? Because I don't, I don't really play this game all too much. Oh, no, like, no, no, you are the one who has that experience. You're, you're, I was oh, oh. I was serious in that moment. Oh, oh, you're right, right. I'm you sorry. were judging I'm other so, people. Am I blind in that situation since you're serious? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is EGS Saras, and I am your commentator this evening. And I am Yora Blind, and we're going into game two. Oh, oh, this was the wrong pick. You, you shouldn't have done this. Oh, well, uh, tell me why. Tell me why. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk about it. This is a very good stage for Zelda in general, and Yashil in particular sees us as best stage when he does an SD. Okay, never mind, never mind. Best stage pick of his life, causing an <laughs> SD. Game one, 0%. That's the best zero to death I've seen in a long time. Sure, but what are some things that Yashil and Zelda in particular can really yeah. do on this stage? So, I feel like a lot of the characters that can take advantage of this stage really like the center stage of this because it is the single platform so they can camp around it. Zelda has the advantage of using the center platform for a lot of cancels. Ah. So, when you combine the threatening, like the threat of cancels, you combine in the threat of Phantom as well. This character can hold down the stage in general because, like, that was from past center stage and it still covered the remainder of the stage. Sure. Phantom co controls a lot of the space, but right now Mona is in control because of one, the SD, and two, they're, they're kind of adapting here. We well, like to see it. This is sort of a zone of safety right here under that platform, and whoever controls that controls the map. Right, I would agree. Uh, and I don't re recall Zelda's options coming down from above outside of maybe a committal Nehru's love really being safe 
right. to challenge that sort of zone. So this will be a, an uphill battle for you till Asmon is staying in that uh, right. protected zone. The one thing I'm not liking at all is how much the show is really pushing in here. It just seems a little bit excessive here. Like, slow it down just a little bit, throw the knight out. What's sure. gonna, like, the most that Mona has shown that he's going to do against the knight is go for, like, a counter. Right, Like, right, right there, he's going to jump, but it delays down. No one really loses on the situation. But the second that your shell pushes in, he's starting to lose a little bit. I see it. I see it. Right, that being setup. said, like, your shell's doing a, making a lot of work oh. happen with this last stock, right? right? Like, your shell's not out of this yet by any stretch of the imagination. All right. So, the one thing I always say about Zelda, right, is that the way I view Zelda is a high-risk, high-reward zoner. Sure. Because she does have the zoning properties, but everything is just so explosive. Even the back throw, like right, like you saw right there. Not exactly a high percentage and still getting a kill with it. But it's just, everything is either not quite as fast as you'd like it, or not... It has a lot of cooldown, has well, a lot of delay on the end. Well, and especially compared to the rest of the cast. Right. Especially compared to the high tiers where... Especially compared to the ninja. ...who can just get away with m literal right. murder. Right. Uh, Zelda can't do that, and those zoning tools do really sort of help make that difference, but is it enough? Well, we're going to see. Um, I mean, this is this is a beautiful 80, comeback so, so far. The right step here kills from Zelda, but that's not the way to do it. No. That's gonna, oh! oh. Condition down smash, not very strong. With that, that might BI, I'm actually amazed. Okay. Good mix-up with the Nairus love there. Except for the lightning kick, so it tries to go through immediately. That's going to do it, though. Yeah, that's, that's one of those tried and true Greninja setups. Oh, that yeah. Once you're in that percent range, you are doomed. Yes. Down tilt from Greninja is absurd. There's no other way to put it, right? After a certain percentage, you're going to take a follow-up, and more than likely, it's going to kill you. All right, so you know your shield pretty well. Right. One, maybe a little bit. Uh, if you were in his shoes, what would you do? Or what would you think that he would do? If Smashville is not banned, go back to Smashville. He's going Bayonetta. Ooh. He went to PS2, he's going Bayonetta. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, really? Really? Okay, uh, DSR. Yeah, they're saying DSR. Yeah, yeah. 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 What? Uh, make sure they know. Okay, yeah, they sorted it out. Okay, yeah, yeah. There was confusion. Oh, well. It was probably me. Am I gaslighting the streamer? I think I'm gaslighting the streamer. Oh! Gotcha. Shout out to early Smash Ultimate. Love PS1. We should, we should keep PS1 legal. Have both PS1. Have, have PS2. both of them legal? And Small bat Battlefield. Those yeah, are the only no three stages. I mean, we did the weird thing in Smash 4 to where, like, Dreamland and Battlefield were the same stage. Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. Honestly, it was a good time. That part I actually appreciate a lot about that game, just because you had that sort of, like, slight variety. Right. But then we also had the pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what take? we do have uh, how many stages in Ultimate and how many of them are legal? Two. We have two <laughs> legal stages. It's Small Battlefield and PS2. Hey, we had a match on Smashville just a second ago. I didn't see it. <laughs> All right. Mono, though, actually looking a lot better this time. No yeah. SD and still has the first stock here. 86% though. Right hit does kill here, but finding that hit might be a little bit painful against Greninja. Mona's definitely slowed it down too, which is what really he needs to do. I was just about to say Mona's really um, keeping uh, his face and really sort of exploiting Zelda's windows where even after a zoning tool is thrown out, there's right. still that commitment that Greninja can just close the gap in there. But he's not just rushing in, he's finding his moment, he's right. finding his time to really get in and gain even just like this much zone and this much zone. Right, just push him to the corner and, until there's no room to work. And that was a good oh read. Oh my god. Okay, that Beautiful. is good. So, Mona's definitely playing this similar to the way that I approach the matchup with Kadisha myself, is that Zelda in it eventually does have to commit in some sort of way. Yes. If you don't commit and you force her to do that over commitment, then you're going to win the matchup. And he's finding his openings right now just through those commitments. So, I'm not sure if your show can bring it back at this point, have, being two stocks down, 61% the last stock. Even the weekend upbeat, that's not going to do it here. That's, that's unfortunate because that would have killed right there, right? Right. I mean, we've seen Yashil, though, in uh, previous games 
come back in these sort of late game high percent situations and make some sort of a comeback. Right. So I wouldn't count him out yet. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, okay, okay. Still sitting at three stacks though. Mono just still poised to take the game. Sure, uh, absolutely. This is not looking great, but I, no. I, I have faith. I have some faith. I have faith that he's going to take a stock, but okay. He misses the shield break step too because that was a separate right there. Okay, that's a stop, that's a stop, that's a stop. It's I also appreciated the double jump to get away from that up smash and then punish it. Right. Mona's really moving though. Yeah, I would not Ooh. want to be up against a zero percent uh, Greninja right now. No. A grab does a lot right here, but you have to find that grab. And if Mona doesn't allow it to happen, then it's curtains. Yeah, Mona's still playing the game, right? Uh, yep, just yep. stay away, look for the openings. Your shield's wisened up a little bit to where he's not going to give those openings as much. And that's good to see, but this might be too low too late. That's it. There it is. Good Dang. set. Really good set. Really good adaptation from Mona. Right. Sucks to see, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, you know, from me. I mean, there's always <laughs> a loser's bracket. We'll probably see more from your show later on. Yeah. So that was winner's round five? Yes. Is that quarters? Uh, that should be quarters, okay. correct. Moving right along then, that's fine. I have um, a very famous story about Greninja. Okay. Uh, this is the early Smash 4 days. <laughs> and uh, is I- this like, Is this I, like the Smash 3DS days? No, or? no, okay. we were on Wii U okay. and we were, I was I was up and coming on the tournament scene. I was a power ranked at the time. This is oh, ancient imagine. history. Ancient <laughs> history at this point. Um, and I was up against this Greninja player and I had faced zero Greninja players right. at this point. And 